who you are? Uh, my name is Alban Salico. Where or in which company do you work? I work for Scandic Hotels, or Vaas. What is your position in this company? I work as a head chef. Uh, what do you think is the description of cooks jobs in the future? Mm, basically the same, with few add-ons, uh, being able to work uh, alone, uh, being able to do ordering of uh, food goods from the stores alone, and, and probably using a bit more of uh, technologies, but everyone does that today. What do you think are Cook's responsibilities in the future? Well, uh, I would say that we have to upgrade cooks from cooks to doctors because these days we have a lot of allergies coming up with with uh, with people, you know, different different diets. Basically, that one is one one important one. Would, I would say. What kind of skills do they need in the future? Um, not necessarily that much skills needed when it comes to food processing because most of the food comes already clean and cut and uh, prepared but basically the uh, you know get going skills from the beginning understanding food chemistry and preparing cooking food what kind of requirements do the future cooks need requirements uh, being able to understand uh, uh, to understand the, the orders what uh, what comes being able to work in busy environment uh, being able to work alone uh, being able to uh, communicate with uh, with with a, yeah, with, a, with a team and help what kind of skills do you think will be needed in the future, like after 2022? Well, I don't know what, what exactly would be needed because the technology is always uh, improving. But what I would love to see is uh, maybe going a bit uh, backward and, and trying to understand more how the food is processed and how it's cut and where does it come from so when you ask little little child where does the apple come from they don't say from the shop it's from the tree uh, mention three most important things how to work in the restaurant industry will change in the next 10 years three important well workload um, with that will come stress and then um, one more is technology. Uh, what expertise will be needed especially when a newcomer comes to work? Yeah, definitely would be needed uh, more time to teach them right and, and more people to be able to show them what to do. Uh, I think that is one important thing to show them right from the beginning. Is there any kind of expertise as is particularly lacking which you think is important even after five years from now? Mm, yes, uh, I would say the understanding of the food products and what is behind uh, the food what we eat, not only about how it's prepared but also the nutrition value of it. Because most of most of the times we just focus on how much we eat and how expensive it is. We don't see uh, what is the nutrition value, what we get out of. What kind of skills or competence are needed in uncertain, changing operating environments? <sighs> well, one of most important skills would be understanding more uh, IT especially when it comes to accounting, uh, food goods, and we have so many different kind of programs that we have to use from different kind of apps. Uh, then there is probably more, but uh, 
I think this is one of the most important because everything is uh, everything what happens goes through the computer ordering everything calculate mention three most important things that will affect the change in work process change in work process mm. <laughs> money <laughs> business uh, always we look after the money uh, and then uh, probably the quality of food products and then the satisfaction of the customer At what stage on process uh, could you use automation technology? We are already using quite a lot. So I would say I, I wouldn't like to use any more. Uh, I would love it also that we have the human part of it included. I don't like to have everything from uh, made from robots. That's my idea, my opinion.